Hey there guys, Zach here from Inbazer and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 Redstone build 11,082. This build is the first Redstone build of many hopefully that includes nothing. <laughs> well, hope right now nothing, but in the future I imagine they'll be including a number of new features. However, since this is the first Redstone build, there is nothing new and that's because Microsoft as of right now is working on under the hood. Things. So they've changed a lot of things up under the hood. Uh, Microsoft says that they have, they have been working on the one core system, which for those who don't know, is the shared core of Windows. It's pretty much the heart of Windows that makes it universal across desktop, laptop, phone, tablet, PC, Xbox, etc, etc. So they're working on improving that under the hood. They say essentially one core is the heart of Windows and these improvements to one core make building Windows across PC, tablet, phone, IoT, HoloLens and Xbox more efficient. We're doing some code refactoring and other engineering work to make sure one core is optimally structured for teams to start checking new features and improvements in the new year. So that's them saying in the new year these builds will eventually be updated with new features that span across all these different platforms but for now you're getting pretty much the Windows 10 November update just with under the hood changes which is to be expected at this early stage anyway. Microsoft also says that they will be speeding up the insider ring, uh, the fast insider ring in the new year. So they say one of the things that many uh, that Microsoft has heard from insiders is that the fast ring is too slow, so they will be speeding up the fast ring. How they're doing this is that they will just relax the QA phase of build. So if for those who don't know, the QA phase is kind of where they it's quality assurance. They test the builds out, and if they're too buggy, they don't get sent to insiders. And up until now, their QA phase has been kind of strict, so that's why insiders have received so little amount of builds uh, compared to internal builds that are actually compiled. So Microsoft is relaxing this criteria, so more builds will actually pass through the internal rings and eventually hit insiders uh, a lot more frequently now. So some some larger bugs that may be, have been showstoppers before will now actually will now actually be sent out to insiders, which is good news. Many people will probably say that's not good news. It's absolutely good news. If you're a true insider, you'll be happy with this news. Those of those of you who are not happy with this news, you can drop to the slow ring as the slow ring will still be treated as it always has been. It may receive builds a little bit more frequently, but they will not be as buggy as the builds released to fast ring. So drop to the slow ring if you still want to be part of the insider program, but not want to receive builds that could be really buggy. So that's pretty much it. We can actually show you Winver just to show you the build number in all of its glory. That's not Winver, that's Wonver. Let's try that again. Winver. There it is. Uh, OS build 11,082.1000. This is version 15.11. However, that will update uh, eventually. Expiry, which expires on the 15th of July 2016, I imagine. That's that's the US date, I'm sure. So yes, uh, there's no extensions. If we go into settings here, you'll see there is no mention of extensions anywhere, sadly. But it does say down here, this is version 25 still okay never mind version 25 is the same as what's on uh, the november update i believe the insider hub gets added back when you install this build which is very nice indeed especially if you're upgrading from a non-insider machine and if we go into uh, announcements excuse that bit you know that noise there uh, you see here uh, known issues let's make this full screen known issues language packs and features on demand will fail to install on this build when copying deleting or moving files there will be no progress dialog shown and with this build, application defaults for some applications may be reset, so keep that in mind if you're planning to upgrade. So there you have it guys, a very quick look at Windows 10 build 11,082. Thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.